This is also the season in which we invite folks to prayerfully consider their pledges, their financial commitments to the parish's mission and ministry in the coming year. 90% of our revenues come from y'all, and Faith and Boone are gonna reflect a little bit as to why they choose to support the parish. I'm Boone Tershey, and I approve this message. <laughs> there are so many aspects of my connection with the Chapel of the Cross that I could talk about, but time is short, so I'll focus on just one, the church and the university. The Chapel of the Cross has its origin around 1850, so we have been close neighbors to the university for more than a century and a half. This proximity has implied a special obligation for our parish to minister to the university. And this is both a responsibility and an opportunity. It's a responsibility because we have an obligation to manifest the gospel to the university community. It's an opportunity because of this very large collection of young people who are in many ways being confronted intellectually with who they are and what they believe. Freshmen coming to the university from a variety of religious backgrounds often find those backgrounds at variance with what they're learning in classes. The Episcopal Church offers a way to be a Christian consistent with their growing intellectual sophistication. Another increasingly large group of students comes from no religious background at all, and we have an obligation to offer them insight as to what it means to be a Christian. This, over recent years, has become increasingly difficult as the word Christian has been hijacked by forces whose intent is anything but Christian. We, the parishioners and clergy of the Chapel of the Cross, have an obligation to reclaim that word. In my 50 plus years at Chapel of the Cross and teaching at the university, I've seen the parish have an important impact. We've provided a place for student fellowship. We have sponsored forums on campus that deal with the moral issues of the day. We have provided a pathway for the ordination of new priests who have begun their journey to the priesthood in this community. We have made public professions of faith by, for example, offering Holy Communion at the pit. We've offered space for student groups to meet. We have served at the diocesan level on the commission dealing with university students and young adults. We've offered the church in the evening for unaffiliated students to meet in silent reflection or perhaps even prayer. All of these things are part of our mission to the university. They all require resources of time and money. The diocese gives us some financial support to carry Christianity to the campus, but it's not enough to carry out our obligation to bring the word to the university. The resources of time and money that we provide are essential in meeting our obligation to carry the gospel of Christ to the university community. And that is a significant part of the reason that I pledge each year, and I hope that you will join me in doing so. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Faith Tershi, and I'm Boone's daughter-in-law, so we represent two families here today. So um, one of the things I wanted to talk about this morning um, is more around the word hope. And it's been a pretty powerful word in my life lately, contrary to what my name says. Um, hope can take many forms. There's hope for peace in the world. There's hope for better health. There's hope for better tomorrow. Hope for better weather. Hope for a better UNC men's basketball season. And some of those hopes are more of a noun, right? A desire and maybe even a prayer. But if you're looking for ways to make hope more of a roll up your sleeves, action type verb, I encourage you to give to this campaign. This church, its clergy and staff are rolling up their sleeves every day in this community, both within our walls and outside of them. And they all, the clergy, the staff, our physical structures, our programs, need financial support to continue to do so. 
So if you're looking for ways to make hope more of an action verb in your life, give, invest, commit to this annual campaign. Make your pledge and commitment to this amazing, hardworking church, and let's continue to roll up our sleeves, hopeful, and do the work that we're called to do.